Hey everyone, it's your girl Emma. Thanks so much for tuning into the African Diaspora News Channel. Today we're going to talk about a Black Lives Matter protest that took place in downtown Toronto and a white man who had the audacity to show up to the protest in blackface. We'll also see images of our current Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau, in blackface, followed by the former Premier of Toronto, Doug Ford, who will share his feelings on racism in Canada, followed by Quebec's Prime Minister, Mr. Francois Legault, who's also going to share his feelings about racism in Canada. I'm going to roll the clip and then we'll talk about it. Doing here. What? what are you, you doing go. here? Why did you do this? You gotta go. 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 I'm not trying to be. You gotta go. 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 You The world does not want you. That's what all Canada is about. Bigotry, right. trying to divide everybody with your racist views. You're a loser. Listen, what was this? I don't want to get it. coming up behind you. You're not telling him out of the area. Don't get a tan. I got a tan. Trying to divide everybody with the racist views. You're a loser. All right, flower bed coming up behind you. The of Justin Trudeau in blackface in the 1990s. Even the PM admitted he wasn't aware of how racist the act was. It was something that. Uh, I didn't think was racist at the time, but now I recognize um, it was something racist to do, and I am deeply sorry. What's worse, the myths persist even today. The idea that Canada is somehow immune to widespread racism. Listen to Doug Ford last week. Thank God that uh, we're different than the United States, and we don't have the systemic, deep roots they, they have had for years. And to Quebec Premier Francois Legault, who was either ignorant of history or chose to ignore it. I don't want us to compare ourselves to the United States. We have not experienced slavery in the history of the United States. Both eventually conceded racism exists, but their comments still reflect a lack of awareness about our own history. Sadly, that comes as no surprise to Andrea Davis, Associate Professor of Black Cultures of the Americas at York University. I think that our leaders don't, don't really have that excuse of saying, well, I wasn't taught this in school, because it's their responsibility to know the histories of the people they represent. It's their responsibility to know the, the societies that they represent. And it, again, if we're going to keep saying that this is a multicultural society, then it's upon us, all of us, to really genuinely seek to know each other. Don't you just love the way the cops just rallied around this man, this racist who showed up to deliberately taunt our people on an important day about an important cause, which is our black lives? and he shows up in blackface and the cops are peacefully walking him out, telling the people that are yelling out at him to stop it, calm down, leave him alone. We know that if a black person showed up to a white person's cause in whiteface, that's not how it would have went down. Now let's talk about Justin Trudeau in blackface. This is the person who runs the entire country of Canada and had no idea that blackface is racist? Really, Justin? Really? Let's not play with each other. You run an entire country and you don't know that this is racist to show up in blackface? Let's talk about Doug Ford. Hey, Dougie, really? 
racism is there's no racism in Canada and it's not like the United States it's not as bad as the United States come on and then let's talk about Francois Legault really everybody is saying that it's not as bad as the United States the deep-rooted racism is not like the United States no it's worse I'm calling cap 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 on all three of them these are people who run countries, run cities, and you have no idea about the racism? It must be nice to not know about your white privilege and your ability to be in white spaces and just be totally unaware of your whiteness. It's a lie. I don't buy it for one moment. And shame on them for saying that. And Sister Andrea Davis is correct. It is their responsibility to know the history of our people. Although I still don't believe that they don't know. I believe they choose to turn a blind eye to it because our black lives don't matter in Canada. I don't buy it. I said it already and I'll say it again. I do not buy it. These are people who run cities, countries. They should know the history of our people. So, no. It would behoove you, however, if what Sister Andrea feels is correct, that they really don't know or are unaware, it would behoove you to know if you're going to be running cities and countries. Would it not? Let me know what you guys all think. Put some fists in the uh, chat and uh, let's start a hashtag. Hashtag, we're not going anywhere because our black lives matter. Thanks so much for tuning in everyone. As usual, please like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next upload. Until next time, peace be.